So we want to solve a transportation problem using Excel solver. In this example, the, the, the distance in thousand miles is given between different cities. We have Seattle and San Diego. Those are supply cities and we have demand cities, New York, Chicago and Topeka. Then we have the limited supply, 325 supply in San Diego, 575 supply in, uh, sorry, 325 in Seattle, 520, 575 at San Diego and demands is given in New York, Chicago and Topeka. So how I set up the problem first, I look at the miles of it. So I set up the mile. The next one, I calculate the cost. So the shipping cost is actually the same as thousand miles. So we have 2.5, meaning like 2,500 2, miles times 58 cents per mile. That's the shipping cost. Again, these numbers are dummy. And then just for the purpose of solution, those are not real number. Now in the next part, I set up the, um, the like the actual calculation. So in the actual calculation, I put like for instance, I put for now zero, zero for every there. So supply zero from uh, Seattle to New York, because I, I'm not sure I want to solve for it. I want to see from three, 325 units available in Seattle, how many of them will go to all these cities, but the sum of them will be this one, right? Eventually, I want the sum here to be less than supply, I want the sum here to be uh, less than demand. So again, uh, we can we can meet them. We need to find what's happening. Again, if you have a real transportation problem, everything should be equal, right? This one, all 325 should be satisfied. All 575 unit here will be satisfied. And then same thing down here. So what I'm gonna do, calculate the total cost. In the total cost, I do the sum product of two arrays. So sum product of this multiplied by this again. When you have two arrays, the sum product knows that the first one needs to be multiplied by the first one, the second multiplied by second, and it will add everything together. That's the beauty of sum product. So I'm going to go to Excel Solver, which is in data. You click on Excel Solver. And then on the solver, what is my the cell that I want to make it? So I want to make the shipping cost minimum. So I click on the shipping cost. In this case, it's in D19. Make it minimum by changing what? By changing the variable for transportation. And then press OK. Add the constraint. So the first constraint is the constraint for supply. Everything in supply should be equal to the constraint. I want to make every city supplied. And then same thing here. Uh, every city they have the demand. The demand needs to be satisfied. So equal to this, then press OK. Then ask me non-negative value, it makes sense. It cannot be negative, so press solve. It found the solution. It actually found the solution. Now the solution is optimized. All the variable are satisfied. So 325 units in Seattle, 300 can should go to Chicago. 25 units need to go to New York. No unit needs to go to here. In San Diego, 300 units can go to New York, and then 275 units go to Topeka. This is a typical transportation problem that we use Excel to solve it. The total cost is this much, and then um, 